we'll talk about k-means clustering. My name is Ronak Vyas and this video is a collaboration with Programming Knowledge. To watch more videos on machine learning and programming, do subscribe to the channel. In this video, we will implement k-means clustering using the scikit-learn library. In the previous video, we saw how the k-means clustering algorithm find similar groups of data in a data set using clustering. In this video, we will use scikit-learn to implement the k-means clustering algorithm. Let's get started. First, we import all the required libraries. So, we need matlab, sorry, matplotlib, dot pyplot as plt. We need numpy to handle the data. And we need the cluster from scikit-learn. Let's wait for it to run. Now the star here indicates that it's currently running and we have run it properly. Now let's prepare the data. Uh, let's create a NumPy array of 10 rows in two columns. So it's better to actually show you how k-means is implemented using our own uh, pre-made data set and not a real-time data set because it gets really confusing. So we start with a simple handcraft data set and then we move to a complicated real-life data set. We create a NumPy array of data points because the scikit-learn library can work with NumPy array type data inputs without requiring any pre-processing. So we can directly focus on implementing the algorithm and not worry about pre-processing in the initial stages of implementation. So this is the NumPy array. Now let's visualize the data. Uh, the written code simply, or the code which we're going to write, simply plots all the values in the first column of X array against all the values in the second column. So let's see what the code looks like. So we make a scatter plot. And we start from zero. And we want the y values now. And let's give it a label as well while we are at it. As true position. And this is how our data looks. So from the naked eye, we have to form two clusters of the above data points. We will probably make one cluster of five points on the bottom left and one cluster of five points on the top right. Let's see if our k-means clustering algorithm does the same or not. Okay, so let's create the clusters now. To create a k-means cluster with two clusters, simply type the following script. So k-means equal to the class k-means and the number of clusters which we want is equal to 2 and let's fit the algorithm now 2 our data set x and we've done that and yes it is just two lines of code to actually run the algorithm in the first line uh, we create a k-means object and pass it to the value 2 as the number of clusters. Next, we simply have to call the fit method on k-means and pass the data that we want to cluster, which in this case is the x array that we created earlier. Now let's see what the centroid values the algorithm generated for the final clusters. So let's print them. And yep, those are our centroids or the centers. The output will be a 2D array of the shape 2 cross 2. Uh, to see the labels for the data point, let's execute the following. So let's print k means of labels. So let's do it here again. So let's print k means dot labels. And those are our two clusters. So it is point by point. So a cluster zero and cluster one. So the output is a one dimensional array of 10 elements corresponding to the clusters assigned to our 10 data points. Here the first five points have been clustered together and the last five points have been clustered. Here zero and one are merely used to represent the cluster IDs and have no mathematical significance towards, towards each other. If there were three clusters, the third cluster would have been represented by the digit two. Let's plot the data point again on the graph and visualize how the data has been clustered. 
this time we will plot the data along with their assigned label so that we can distinguish between the clusters so let's write the code for that we'll make a scatter plot again to see how this works with our data points in x colon comma 0 and x colon comma 1 and c is going to be k means dot labels underscore and let the c map be a rainbow so let's see how that works here we are plotting the first column of the x array against the second column however in this case we are also passing k means labels as the value for the c parameter that corresponds to the labels the cmap rainbow parameter is passed for choosing the color type for different data points. So that is how we get the differentiated uh, bluish violet color or the purple color and the red color. As expected, the first five points on the bottom left have been clustered together displayed with blue, while the remaining points on the top right have been clustered together with red. So here we have two different opposite scenarios. So the bottom has been done with red and the top right has been done with blue. Let's execute the k-means algorithm with three clusters and see the output graph. So let's implement it again. So k-means equal to k-means class. And now the clusters is equal to three. Let's fit our data set on this algorithm. And plot this again. So plt scatter x again colon and 0 x with colon and 1 c is equal to k means dot labels again and the c map is going to be rainbow and yeah you can see that again the points are close to each other have been clustered together now let's plot the points along with the centroid coordinates of each cluster to see how the centroid position affects clustering. So here we are going to also point out the cluster centroid of all the clusters which are, which we can see here. So we are we have we have three clusters here. So we'll be plotting the three centroids along with the clusters. Let's write the code for that. We always use scatter plot for k-means clustering because it's easier to see uh, the scatter plot when we have to differentiate between the clusters colon and 0 and again 1 the c is k means dot labels again and the c map is equal to rainbow now we need to plot the centroids here so let's try that k means dot cluster centers I'm right with that and we need only till the zeroth point and we have to plot that with the y-axis so cluster underscore centers underscore colon one and let the color of these points be black awesome let's see how this looks so in the case of three clusters the two points in the middle which are displayed in red have distance closer to the centroid in the middle displayed in back between the two reds as compared to the centroids on the bottom left or top right however if there were two clusters there wouldn't have been a centroid in the center hence the red points would have been clustered together with the bottom left or top right clusters so that was a simple implementation of k-means clustering with our very own handmade data set now you can go ahead and try implementing the algorithm on real world datasets. Thank you.